welcome to week number seven, Fluency Task Cards. We are featuring the novel Matilda this week. Um, you may have read some books by this author, Roald Dahl. He's one of my favorites. My favorite book in his series being Matilda, the BFG, Witches, there's a bunch. So you may see those come up during our Fluency Task Cards here in the later weeks. But it's a fantastic series. So if you like the beginning of Matilda, let me know. I will get you a copy. So remember, you're going to read your cards each day this week. And you can turn in your summary anytime, but I just need it by Friday. Let's review what fluent readers do. Fluent readers, they read accurately. They read with expression. They read smooth and notice punctuation. And they comprehend what they read. Here we go. It's a funny thing about mothers and fathers, even when their own child is the most disgusting little blister you could ever imagine, they still think that he or she is wonderful. Some parents go further. They become so blinded by adoration that they manage to convince themselves that their child has qualities of a genius. Well, there's nothing very wrong with all of this. Oops. It's the way of the world. It is only when parents begin telling us about the brilliance of their own revolting offspring that we start shouting, bring us a basin, we're going to be sick. Occasionally, one comes across parents who take the opposite line, who show no interest in their children. And these, of course, are far worse than the doting ones. Mr. and Mrs. Woodworm were two such parents. They had a son called Michael and a daughter called Matilda. And the parents looked at Matilda as nothing more than a scab. Matilda's brother Michael was a perfectly normal boy. But the sister, as I said, was something to make your eyes pop. By the age of one and a half, her speech was perfect. And she knew as many words as most grown-ups. The parents, instead of applauding her, called her a noisy chatterbox and told her sharply that small girls should be seen and not heard. By the time she was three, Matilda had taught herself to read by studying newspapers and magazines that lay around the house. At the age of four, she could read fast and well, and she naturally began hankering after books. From then on, every afternoon, as soon as her mother had left for bingo, Matilda would toddle down to the library. The walk only took 10 minutes, and this allowed her two glorious hours sitting quietly by herself in a cozy corner, corner devouring one book after another. When she had read every single children's book in the place, she started wandering around in search of something else. All right, so great reader summarize. Remember, we're gonna use this template from the writing revolution. When you see dotted lines like this, you're just giving me a few words. So map out who, what, when, where, why, and how. Just give me a couple words. Once you have that template completed, you're going to write a couple of complete sentences in a summary format for me. So what happened based on what I read. Once you're done with that, please turn it in to me. Thanks for investing in yourself and you are on your way to better fluency.